Paul, thanks a lot for joining me today. Um, first of all, uh, why are you here? Um, what, what's, what is today about? Uh, well, hopefully raising money for Winchester Football Club. Uh, you know, it's me, Matt and Mark Dennis just come up here with Mike Osman. Um, got a good crowd in the room at the moment by the looks of it, so it's nice and packed and good atmosphere. Uh, hopefully have a bit of crack and a few stories and you know, the auction and hopefully just have a good night and raise some money, you know, help things along at the club. Uh, you know, Paul's trying to Paul McCarthy's trying to you know, raise money, he needs it for, to help, help, sing, help things along, and uh, hopefully we'll just have a good evening and make a few quid. Um, I'll go on to your career. You spent a lot of time at Liverpool and Spurs. Um, we'll start off at Spurs firstly. Um, when your career at Spurs ended, you uh, were outshadowed, to say the least, by Drury and Gary Lineker. How did that make you feel? Were you disappointed that you weren't able to extend your Spurs career longer? Uh, no, yeah, you, it's, there's times at a club when you know things are up, and um, you know I'd be previously before that I had the same at Liverpool. You know, um, the manager that bought me at Liverpool didn't uh, uh, didn't stay at the club that long, and a new one takes over, brings in his own players, and you move on. I had four years at Tottenham, me, me, uh, my contract ran out. But you're right, there was Lineker, Drury, Paul Stewart. Um, you know, some good players there, so I had to move on. That's that's life in football, I'm afraid. But yeah, you're always disappointed when you leave a big club. Um, but you've just got to get on with your career. How um, how important is it um, that Harry Redknapp kept hold of uh, players such as Luka Modric and Rafa van der Vaart this year? Um, massively important. I mean, you know, there's as we've seen recently, um, you know, there's a lot of players getting their head turned by big money, um, and it's difficult for the players. You have to understand that foreign players aren't always in love with the club they're at. You know, they're foreigners have come from a different part of the, part of the world, and um, you know they had their head turned by by vast amount of money. Um, but I'm glad that Tottenham stood their ground, kept him there. Um, they've probably looked after him quite nicely as well. Uh, and at the same time, now it looks like he's back scored a, an amazing goal the other week, didn't he? Brilliant goal. Um, so it looks like he's got his head on and he's playing well against Liverpool. So you know, he, he looks like he's, he's he's focused again. Now, I'm just going on to Liverpool now. Um, how important is it um, that Dal Gleish has got these new players in, as in Henderson, Charlie Adam, Suarez even? Um, are Liverpool back to the good old days, you know, winning games, challenging for titles maybe? Um, don't think they'll be challenging for titles. I mean, now you almost get those who you expect to be challenging for a title, which is Man United, Man City, maybe Chelsea, and then those fighting for, for full spot, which might be Tottenham, um, you know, Tottenham, Arsenal. And um, a another, um, you know, and, and Tottenham are in that in, in that bracket, and Liverpool. Um, so um, I, I think they'll be in a shake-up for fourth spot. Um, you've got to win the games against the likes of Arsenal um, and Spurs, and, and as we've already seen, they got beat by Spurs. Um, you know, it, it's 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 going to be interesting. I don't know. I don't think they've got any divine right to be right in there. Um, you know, there's question marks over one or two of the players like uh, Jordan Henderson. Uh, Andy Carroll at the moment, who have, have really yet to get going. Um, so, you know, it's going it's to be interesting. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, brilliant, Paul. Thanks a lot for joining me. Thank you. Thanks.